This is Sarah Crampton from www.actionridertac.com. And this is Hudson. How do you clip the horse's head without getting all those little marks so it shows like you have clipped it? It's nice to clip a horse without showing any clipper marks. So I'm going to give you a couple tips here. Hudson is used to the clippers, thank goodness. And this is not a really uh, wonderful set of clippers, it's just one of the smaller kind. But I do uh, adjust the blade so that I've got some teeth showing up, so I'm not clipping at the closest um, adjustment, but have a little bit of teeth sticking up so it doesn't clip quite so close. So when you take the whiskers off, you want to go against the way the whisker is growing so you get them nice and close. Hudson has been clipped a couple weeks ago, but his uh, whiskers are sticking up. So I'm careful not to gouge into the hair, or else I'll leave clipper marks. You're going to have to keep turning your head all the way around to try to see those whiskers and go up against them. Horses, for some reason, don't ever seem to mind the, well, I shouldn't ever, once they get used to the clippers, they don't mind the, uh, their muzzle being done. It always amazes me. You'd think it'd be very ticklish. It seems to tickle them, but it doesn't ever seem to bother them much. And then, um, horses often get long hairs under here. You can see Hudson has a little bit of fuzz there. And so I can't clip against the hair, that'll cause the clipper marks. But I can turn the clippers over and comb. And if I go in the direction of the hair in a combing fashion, it will take those long hairs off, leave the short hairs on, and not leave any clipper marks. Then if you like, you really want it to look clean and tidy. And again, it always amazes me that horses don't mind this. But um, you can clip off his little long hairs around the eyes, which sometimes get really, really long. And you're going to go show. It's kind of a nice thing to do, keeping these and tidy. And then I always do a bridle path. So I'll make sure the comb is out long. And I've recently done his bridle path, but I found that if you kind of stand to the side, don't come at him at the front, stand to the side, and then you can hear the clippers now, so you see him, his ears going back. But I'll start going this way because it'll get him used to the clipper for a minute. He really doesn't mind the clippers all that much. Yeah, you can see his ear going back, he's hearing it. I'll go this way, even though I need to come the other way. But now that he's used to it, I'll take my hand and put his ear forward. And now I can go against the hair and get it nice and close. And I find that pushing the ear forward like this with my hand helps them Maybe it takes the sound away of the clippers a little bit. But I've got my hand pressed on there, so I can kind of guide me a little bit and not dig the clippers in too hard. There. I don't do too big of a bridle path. I just do just enough so that halter and bridle can lay, uh, have room to lay down nice and flat and not pull on his hair. So try that yourself and you will get a beautiful clipped head like Hudson's.